brought to you by Gospel of God's Grace Ministries. The grace of God is sufficient for you, church. Amen. My name is Oredita Mogojwe. I'm from Muchidi. I'm also a PPS diamond. Shall we put our hands together for this initiative of PPS? Shall we magnify the Lord Jesus Christ for this wonderful inspiration? I'm here to share with you a testimony of what God has done upon my life. People of God, taking you back, I will say, uh, starting from junior school, I used to perform well, but when it comes to languages, it was another story. The maximum I could get in both English and Setswana was only a B. So in the end, that is the JC examination, I managed to get an A, but with a B in Setswana and a C in English. So taking us through... You are saying that during the, the, the time of your, your, your time at JC, you are struggling with languages. What did you do in order to try to improve those languages before you encountered Christ Jesus? Mostly, I will just uh, leave it like that because I've already given up on both my languages. And I started coming to the Gospel of God's Grace Ministries 2013. That is when I, I was doing Form 3. And since then, I started uh, learning what the man of God was teaching us, the preachings. They really motivated me up until I went to Form 4. That's when I started to see the grace of God really operating upon my life. Because when I was in junior school, I always performed well, but with prizes I never received, not even a single one. So when I got to Form 4, the messages that the man of God um, relayed to, to those who were in, in PPS that they should marry their books. I took those messages also to heart and they bear fruits. And as I can tell you right now, people of God, when I reached Form 4, that is media examination, I managed to scoop a prize which was best in overall Form 4, uh, top achiever, pure science, best in statistics, and best in social studies. Shall we put our hands together for Master Jesus, people of God? We believe that, people of God, you are following the testimony of our sister very well. She was saying that before she came into the gospel of God's grace ministries, she never got to scoop any prize up until she came to the gospel of God's grace ministries. But by then, she was not part of PPS because she was only doing Form 4. But she's saying that whenever the PPS students will receive messages, she will get those messages and begin to apply them, though she was not part of PPS by then because she was still in Form 4. She was saying that as well, the messages that she was receiving from the man of God as he was preaching, through the service, encouraged her and motivated her. So you're welcome to continue with your daughter's testimony. And this were the prizes. The first one was best in statistics, as you can see, people of God. The second one was best in social studies, that is in Form 4. Then this was the best overall student Form 4 also. This was top achiever, pure science, and... People of God, when I moved on now to Form 5, that's when I enrolled into the PPS program. And when I thought uh, I've seen what God can do upon my life, it was even amplified because I remember we were called for a competition which was only comprised of only uh, private schools like Maruapula, Rainbow, Elendun. So this competition, people of God, we are only tested on current affairs and sciences only. And by the grace of God, we managed to get position three by the grace of God, which was really hard. Shall we put our hands together, people of God, for Master Jesus? Shall we magnify the Lord Jesus Christ greatly for this amazing advancement in academics? You're welcome to continue. And people of God, uh, through my journey in Form 5, that's when I started to see that, yes, I can do well, but with languages, I still struggle. So, like I said, the grace was still sufficient upon my life. Uh, Mid-year, again, by the grace of God, because we continue to receive messages from the man of God that we have the power of choice. If you want to be a doctor or anything in the future, you need to act on it now. You should, everything that you do, you should always be in line with your dream. And that also bad fruits because uh, mid-year exam, I also scooped some of the prizes. And this was... Uh, uh, top Achiever, also Pure Science, Form 5. And this was uh, 
This was also top 10 pure science. This was best student in social studies, best student in fashion and fabrics, and best student in, in biology. Shall we put our hands together, people of God, for Master Jesus. Let us glorify the Lord Jesus Christ with our hands. So now all these, all these certificates you've been showing us, you are, you are already part of PPS because you're saying that by then you're doing Form 5. Yes, sir. And as if that was not enough, I also received this tablet, which was also to help me during my researches. As I already said, people of God, that I was struggling with my languages, it came the time of the exams when everybody was start to shake in now, they, they doubted everything that I've ever learned. So I was also in that position up until I reached the, the message where the man of God said we should up our spirit, we should change our attitude towards our languages. In order for a subject, like for example, a subject to be interesting, you should be interested in it. If you are not interested in that subject, it will never be interesting. No matter how good the subject is, no matter how good your teacher is, no matter how good whatever you may, yes. But if you are not interested, when I say interested, I'm talking about your spirit now. If you are not, you don't up your spirit for that subject, you will never get whatever that the teacher gives you. When reading... Many a times you find yourself like sleeping, drowsy. You know why do we normally get drowsy when reading? But I believe you have noticed that when you, you, you play, is it, what, what do you call it? Play what? PlayStation. When you play the PlayStation, you can play it from 8 o'clock until 3 o'clock. And you won't get tired and you won't miss a thing. Who knows what I'm talking about here? Children. Okay, fine. What does that mean to you? By the time you are playing the PlayStation... You will up your spirits. You will do what? Up. So you up your spirits. Mm. So everything that happens there, you don't want to miss not even a thing. So your spirit is on top of that game. Because at the end of the day, you want to win. So even if the game is not so interesting, but you will be interested because your spirit is up. The same applies when you read your books. If by the time you are reading your books, you are still thinking about the dinner, you are still thinking about your girlfriend, you are still thinking about Facebook, or you are reading your books and the phone is the other side, as you are reading, you are on WhatsApp. You are reading your own WhatsApp. You are reading your own Facebook. You are reading here, then comes a message. You get to the message, you answer, you begin to talk. So you see that you are dividing your spirit or you are dividing your heart. And in most cases, your spirit will be drawn towards the things that you are chatting, not what you are reading. So that is why you sat down to read, but at the end of the day, you realize that you only read for 10 minutes, but the whole time, the two hours, you were busy with chit chat, chit chat, because that is where your spirit is. Learn to up your spirit. You must learn to do what? Up my spirit. I cannot hear you. Up my spirit your spirit the grace of God is sufficient for you church what I learned today during the service is that there is nothing that you can do without discipline I was indisciplined I could not read very well but now I learned that I should up my game I should stand up on my feet and look at those books and say as the, as the prophet said, there is a diamond in me. I should stand up, arise, and stop my bad habits. I learned that from today on, shall on, I will stop my bad habits. I hope that you, my peers, you have learned and you have upped your spirit. What I learned is that without a determined heart, there is nothing that you can do, people of God. Just as like the prophet said, don't be shy. I was standing there at the corner, I was shy. But when I, when I rose up that morning, today I said, whatever the prophet will say, I will stand up on my game and I will prove to the church that, yes, there is a diamond in me and I'll be right here.
the attitude that I have towards my language is people of God. I believe that starting from today, I will start to answer like I do on my science subjects. I will also pass my maths. I will pass my English and I will pass my Sotswana. God bless you. And remember, people of God, I said I've already given up on my languages because I believe that I could only pass other subjects and not Sotswana and English. So when it, it came the time of the exams, I, I prayed with the living water. I, I said, uh, I believe in Christ Jesus, and I thank God for the good results that you have already given me because I, I maintained a good confession of faith, believing that God has already seen me through my exams. So when I entered the exam room, I only took the seal of the living water because I've seen God uh, doing great things upon other people's life using the same seal. So during the exam, I will just be holding the seal and while writing my exams. But taking us through, you are saying that uh, during the course of the meetings that you had with the men of God in PPS, um, you received messages that encouraged you. So what was your attitude now towards those two subjects that you were saying that they were giving you a hard time? So much so that you were about to write exams. Now, what was your attitude towards them before you even wrote the exams now? Um, the message came while we were left with only a month. So during those days, I visited teachers asking for help. I started participating in class, especially during languages, because before I used just to, 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 be, to keep quiet and keep questions to myself, even when I did not understand. So your attitude towards those subjects changed as well. You believed that you can still achieve, you can still do more and break through even in those subjects. That was your faith at that moment. Yes, sir. Shall we put our hands together for Master Jesus? <laughs> so we understand that finally you had to sit for your final examinations. You are welcome to take us through. Um, well, I wrote my exams. I was writing 10 subjects. So if I can take you to the board. Um, like I said, people of God, this is Form 4. This shows that I got a C in English and a B in Sotswana. And also in Form 5, as you can see, I got a B in English. That was the maximum I could get. And also a B in Sotswana. But after the exams now, and after the touch of God, I managed to get to move from that B in Sotswana to an A star in Sotswana. Shall we put our hands together for Master Jesus? You are welcome to continue. Also in English, I moved from my regular B's and C's to an A in English. Shall we put our hands together greatly and mightily for Master Jesus? And mind you, people of God, this was the first time for me to get an A in English and an A star in Sotswana. And I was the only A star in Sotswana at school. Shall we put our hands together greatly for Master Jesus? So you are welcome to share with the church your, the whole results. Uh, now taking back to the final examination, I got six stars, which was for Sotswana, for maths, for chemistry, for physics, for biology, and social studies. Shall we put our hands together for Master Jesus? In the end, people of God, I got 48 points of six A stars, two A's, and two B's. Shall we put our hands together? Greatly and mightily for Master Jesus. So you are saying that finally you scooped the six A stars, two A's, and two B's. Yes, sir. Shall we put our hands together for Master Jesus, people of God? And overall, I was the best student in St. Joseph's College. That was BGCSE exam. And as if that was not enough, I also received this message that I was also in the top 10 top achievers 2015, and I was number eight. Shall we put our hands together for Master Jesus? People of God, I believe that you will agree with me. This is nothing other than God. So now you are attesting and confirming to the congregation that you are the only one in your school, that is St. Joseph's College, to be part or among the top 10 achievers in the whole country. 
Yes, sir. Shall we put our hands together for Master Jesus? Um, with all those people of God, I just wanted to thank God because by my own strength, I could not make it. But by the grace of God, I've reached this far. Let us help this young lady to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for this amazing result in her life. Shall we put our hands together greatly and thank the Lord Jesus Christ? So what can be your word of advice after seeing this radical transformation in your academics? How do you advise those who are just about to enroll for PPS as well as those who are in school in general? I will tell them the same thing that the man of God said, that we should change our attitude towards our languages. We should participate in class and always be conscious of our dream because where there is no vision, the people perish. So so what I can say also is that they should work hard because the man of God said there's a season for everything. And now is the season for them to work hard, to do their assignments and concentrate in class. And the season for them to write their examination and to seek for that result is going to come. Shall we put our hands together for this wonderful words of advice? Shall we magnify the Lord Jesus Christ? Indeed, we thank God, we bless God, and we rejoice with you for this amazing results that God brought about in your life. You've seen the secret that, yes, whoever hears the word of God and live in accordance with that word, because you're saying that this, the word of God that you receive from the man of God up your spirit and change your perspective toward those subjects, and it transformed your results. So we pray that God may give you the grace to continue looking intently in the Lord that liberates, for you to continue enjoying the special grace of God that you are under. to you by gospel of god's grace ministries we are live from the gospel of god's grace ministries in kopong botswana